नंबर सिस्टम नेचुरल नंबर्स अ सेट ऑफ काउंटिंग नंबर्स इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर्स एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री एक्सेट्रास इट कंटिन्यूज अप टू इन्फिनिटी लेट्स डिस्कस सम नोट अबाउट नेचुरल नंबर्स सो द फर्स्ट नोट इज ऑल द पॉजिटिव नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू इन्फिनिटी इज कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर एंड वी डि नॉट नेचुरल नंबर विद लेटर एन होल नंबर्स When zero is included in the set of natural numbers called whole numbers means we can say whole number equals to zero plus natural number example 0 1 2 3 etc notes are all natural numbers are whole number all whole numbers are natural numbers except zero we denote whole number with letter w integers when negative numbers are included in the set of whole numbers it called integers we can say that integers equals to whole numbers plus negative numbers example for this minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 means we can say that integers can be negative and positive as well notes are the integer numbers have no decimal part integers have no fractional part and we denote integers number with letter z types of integers there are two types of integers first one is positive integers and the second one is negative integers positive integers are the natural numbers which are called positive like 1 2 3 etc a negative number negative integers are number that are less than 0 means we can say minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc note for this 0 is neither positive nor negative integer rational number the number which can be expressed in the form of p by q means we can say which can be expressed in the fractional form where p and q are integers it called rational numbers example for this is 4 by 5 5 by 1 1 by 2 and minus 2 by 3 note for this its denominator can not be zero second one is it can be negative or positive as i mentioned in the example you can see the examples are positive and negative as well we do not rational number with letter q irrational numbers the numbers which can not be expressed in the form of p by q or we can say which cannot be expressed in the form of fraction or p and q are called irrational number example root 2 root 3 root 5 Note for this its denominator cannot be zero it can be negative or positive and the last one is root 4 and root 9 are not irrational number because this root root 4 its answer will be 2 and root of 9 its answer will be 3 real numbers set of all rational numbers as well as irrational numbers are called real numbers Example: root two, root three, and two by three. We denote real number with letter R. Even numbers. The numbers which are divisible by two is called even numbers. Example for this: eighteen, thirty-four, thirty-eight. All the numbers are divisible by two. Note for this. The sum of two or more even numbers is always even, as as in the example when we add eight plus six, we are getting fourteen. Both the numbers eight and six are even, and the sum is also even. And you can see the next example that is two plus four plus six, and by adding this, we are getting twelve, and twelve is even by nature. 
Second one is the product of two or more even numbers is always even. For example, when you when we will uh, multiply two with four, we are getting eight as product, and by nature it is even number. Next one is uh, when we are multiplying four with two and then six, we are getting answer as forty eight, and the product is uh, even by nature. Even number is divisible by two leaves no remainder. Means when we divide any number, any even number with two, there will be no remainder. Odd numbers. The numbers which are not divisible by two are called odd numbers. For example, seventeen, thirty-five, thirty-seven. Note for this: the sum of two odd number is always even. When, as for example, three plus five, we are getting eight as our sum, and eight is by nature it is even. The product of two or more or odd numbers is always odd. When we are multiplying nine by seven, we are getting sixty-three as our product, and we can say that our product is odd. When we will multiply five with three and then seven, we are getting product like one hundred five, and by nature one hundred five is also odd. Sum of odd number in even time is even, but odd time is odd. Means when we are adding two odd numbers, even time means when we are adding two odd numbers two times, we can say we will get answer sixteen. As you can see, seven plus nine. We are getting answer sixteen. That is even in nature. And when we are adding three odd number together, means three plus five plus nine. When we are adding three odd number three times, we are getting our answer as odd. And here the answer is seventeen, which is by nature it is odd number. Next one is prime numbers. Numbers that have only two factors. That are one and the number itself is called prime number. Example: two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, etc. are prime numbers. Two is the note for this. Two is the only even prime number. Two is the smallest prime number, and prime number are natural numbers that are divisible by number itself. Composite number. Composite number are numbers that have more than two factors. Example: four, six, eight, twelve, fifteen. And for example, you can say uh, that four, four is a composite number as if it is having three factors. That is two, two, and one. Four and three. Fact: four has three factors. Therefore, four is a composite number as we have discussed before. For note for this is the number which is not prime is called composite number, and one is neither prime nor composite number. One is exceptional, and we can say that it is a special number. Four is the smallest composite number. Co-prime numbers, the numbers that have only one common factor, namely one, is called co-prime number. Example for this: two and three, four and thirteen. 22 and 27 you can see that 22 is having three factors that is 2 11 and 1 and 27 is also having three factors that is two factors you can say 3 and 1 and when we will find the common one we are getting only one that is one number we are getting that is one okay so we can say that 22 and 27 are co-prime numbers as if they are having only one common factor note for this is HCF of co-prime number is always one, and the next one is two consecutive numbers will always be a co-prime number, like twelve and thirteen, twenty-three and twenty-four. They will always have one common factor that is one. Twin prime numbers. Twin prime numbers are a pair of prime numbers that have a difference of two between them. For example, eleven and thirteen. Three and five, twenty-nine and thirty-one. All the given examples are having a difference of two between them. 
Our note for this is a tween number, a tween prime number is either two less or two more than another prime number. You can see in the example, the first one is 11 and 13. So 11 and 13, 11 is less than two less than 13. Or when you will see 13, 13 is two less, uh, two more than 11. Next is perfect numbers. If the sum of all divisors of a number is equal to the number, is called a perfect number. For example, when we are taking example 6 and its factor 6 factor is 1, 2 and 3. When we will find the sum of the given factors like 1 plus 2 plus 3, we are getting the number itself. So we can say that 6 is a perfect number. And the next example is 28. And the factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14. And when you will add the given factors, you will get 28. So we can say that 28 is the perfect number. Note for this, the smallest perfect number of one digit is 6 and the smallest perfect number of two digit is 28. Thank you.